hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take so i was on the long holiday from the last nine days and i didn't upload any videos but when i came back on my work i got new unofficial build of lineages 20 and were 30 for the oneplus 6 and 60. i was using the rise dot 6.0 on my oneplus 6 from the last update you can check that video from the top right corner i card so the lineage OS comes with the separate rom zip file and the gfs file so you need to download both the files this time flashing is a bit complicated so take a quick look here first do the format data using fastboot erase user data in a fastboot mode then flash the twrp given in a video description i didn't show on this step here but you can check that from the icard video when you boots in a twrp transfer both the files first flash the rom zip file then tap advanced menu select the install current twrp reboot back to the twrp then flash the gapps then do format data and reboot to the system so flashing is done today in this video we will see the full review of new lineage OS 20 what's working features performance and the bugs so watch the video till the end now without further ado let's get started on the new adventure So we booted with the same signature boot animation of Lineage OS. It has same setup like Oxygen OS ROMs. This is the tray bucket launcher of Lineage OS with its unique icon pack. Let's jump to the about phone to check the details of the new Lineage OS 20. This is the new Android 13 with the new Android 13 easter egg. Lineage OS version is 20 with its own Lineage OS easter egg. Android security patch is of latest October 2022. Kernel version is 4.9.227. Build date is of 5th October 2022. This ROM's first build was released on the 2nd of October and this one is the third build from the date of release. So we will thoroughly check what's working in the ROM. Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi hotspot both are working perfectly. ROM has the Wi-Fi calling and is also working very good. OLT network and the calling working good. ROM has the call recording function and it's working. You will find the call record under the call lock section. Bluetooth is working. It's connecting the Bluetooth devices. HD audio is also working. ROM supports SBC and ACC codecs. NFC is working. GPS location is also working good. Fingerprint is working fast and accurately. OnePlus signature alert slider and the auto brightness both are working well. ROM has a simple camera application which doesn't have much features but it has all the things working but I will recommend you to use the Google Gcam MGC build which has almost all the things working except the slow motion and 4K 60fps recording. I tested all the sensors specifically light sensor, ear proximity, microphone etc all are working very good. Other sensors like the accelerometer, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope all the sensors are working good. Overall, all the things are working very well. So in this part, except some camera flaws, you will didn't get any major issues. As Lineage OS ROMs are the less customizable ROMs with the more stability and the performance oriented approach, we didn't get much customizations here. Under the display and the lock screen setting, we guess the display media cover art toggle. In the ambient display, we guess the AOD, pocket mode and the pickup options. ROM has the live display setting which has different color modes, display modes, anti-flicker and reading mode options. Color calibration and the picture adjustment setting helps to improve the display color as per your need. Double tap to wake and double tap to sleep toggles are available and both are working well. In the wallpaper and style apps, we didn't get the pixel wallpaper but it has other features like bunch of wallpaper and the basic colors. It has the theme icon option and is working. Under the system setting, you guess the different custom options like the buttons. Here you guess the power menu customizations with the bunch of the options. Volume rocker device wake up and the volume rocker cursor control both are working well. Volume panel orientation toggle is available to switch the position of volume panel. Instead of this, in the status bar, you guess all the old custom settings for the status bar, clock and date, time, OT updater, etc. Under the gestures setting, you guess the off-screen touch gestures and is also working good. Accept these navigation gestures, quickly open camera, one-handed mode like most of the pixel gesture features are available in the ROM. 
So it's time to check the performance of the new Lineage OS 20. After running the Geekbench for the single core, I got the score of 495 and for multi-core I got the score of 2088. Both the scores are good. For the OpenGL Drivers API, I got the score of 2249. While on the Hulkan Graphics API, I got the score of 1835. Overall, these scores or results are reflecting in the real-world performance. ROM is super smooth and fast except in the one situation that I will discuss soon next in the video. So let's check out the bugs or you may also call them as the issues you face in the ROM. First safety net is not passing in the ROM. It is getting all the things are passing except the CTS profile check. So you can't able to use the banking and the security related application except you root the phone and bypass the safety net using the magics module. Wide one is still on L3, so no more SD content for the Netflix and the Amazon Prime applications. ROM didn't have the Google Photo Unlimited Photo Backup. Hey Google Voice activation still not working for me and after activation, it has the bug of lag for the video and the audio playbacks. Except that you will get the extreme lag in the overall UI after the enabling Hey Google toggle. This bug may be device specific issue as most of the users actually seems they have Hey Google working on their devices. This is all round review of this new Lineage OS 20 Android 13 ROM. Except the issue of the safety net, everything seems ok for me. Though the ROM is unofficial one, it will be soon converted into the official one after some more builds. Battery life not tested yet, so wait for my community post for the battery backup results. But as per my opinion, Lineage OS ROMs are the pure vanilla ROMs, so you may get better battery backup, obviously. That's it for today guys, hope you like my work to find out the best custom ROM for your OnePlus 6 and 60. Then please do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.